This is Crash Course in Enterprise Java Beans 3 with Rational Application Developer for WebSphere, Part 9 of 9, Running the Web Project. Okay, now we've finished our demo blog page, and the only thing left to do is to simply run our project. So, you start out by coming over and expanding the web project that we have, go into Java Resources and open the source folder, open the package, and then right click blog entry. Now blog entry remember is our servlet. Uh, so if we if we run the server starting at blog entry, the servlet, it'll redirect to our first blog post.jsp uh, filling in the view count. And that's exactly what we want. So then after right clicking blog entry you want to highlight run as and click run on server. And then of course you want to use our WebSphere 7.0 server which we set up. You can opt to always use the server if you'd like, and then just hit finish. And now, depending on the speed and power of your computer, this uh, starting WebSphere server step could take several minutes. So essentially you'll see the console fill with log data. And finally, once it's all started up, you'll see the blog post appear right here in our main view pane. And you see that we do have our demo blog just as we designed with the template and we have views one because this is our first view of our blog entry and if you refresh the page a few times you'll see the view count goes up each time you refresh now you can also try on your own stopping and restarting the WebSphere server and you'll find that the view count is persistent because of course we save it in our derby database so uh, it'll it'll stay after re any restarts of the server or anything like that. And this concludes our uh, demo blog post with a view count.